Going up through school, really had a difficult time, I have to say. When I watched Roots, remember Roots? <laughs> Roots changed my life. Because I was a happy-go-lucky girl. And I watched Roots. I had to go back to school the next day. <laughs> All the black girls were like this. You see Roots? <laughs> and it was like we sided, come over here, come over here. <laughs> well, what are we going to do about white people? I know. But I forgot my best friend was white. And she'd be like, Angie, Angie, come over here. And I'm like, Janique, now's not a good time, yeah? <laughs> and as soon as you go into the classroom, everything relates to roots. I said to my teacher, sir, do you have to pick up that white chalk <laughs> to abuse the blackboard? <laughs> and playground was like segregation. Do you see roots? Yeah. When your teacher told you to do something, will you get out of the classroom? That to me was like whipping motion. <laughs> Slave is over, sir. <laughs> no, my head is hot right now, you know. Lock stop my hair, you know. Lock stopped my hair. One day I just thought to myself, Cha, I'm fed up with a weave. <laughs> Keep getting tired of pretending to do that. You know when you're running, your weave's moving, and people looking at you like this. <laughs> so one day I said to myself, one locks up my hair. I actually went through a sickness, actually. Had fluid on the brain when I had my last child. And I was in the hospital, they said to me, we think it's a brain tumor. And I looked at them and I thought, so that means shaving off my hair. How do I stitch my weave when you shave off my hair? <laughs> so when I came out of hospital, I locked up my hair. Locked it up. Found my mum in Jamaica, said, mum, I've locked up. She goes, what? You're Tom Rasta? <laughs> Scary, isn't it? And his thing is about school, going back to school, I have to say that. When I was at school, I was a very ugly little girl. At that stage, you say... Because <laughs> you're looking at me like this, yeah, we can see. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I had to kind of like sit at home when the loveless music was playing. And we have Paulette Tarja over here. Please give a round of applause, Paulette. Cause you love me, baby. No, Paulette, they didn't. <laughs> and you know, it's like growing up at school, I used to think to myself, why? How come men don't check me up? My boys don't fancy me. Oh, things have changed, things have changed. <laughs> and my mum used to say to me, don't let no boys, you know, because you know sex lessons was never sex lessons at home, was it? Anybody here as parents sit them down and talk about sex? No, my parent came into my room and said, Mum, my mum comes to us, Angie, don't do it, all right? <laughs> Very simple. You'll find that you'll, you'll start growing breasts and things might happen. Nothing. Didn't even like to say the word sex. It was like, <laughs> You're having sex. <laughs> no, mummy. Well, if you need to have sex, <laughs> try and don't do it in this house, see here. <laughs> but you know, you're going at school, and I was never the good looking one. There was always a beautiful girl at school, wasn't there? You know, the one that didn't do their homework? <laughs> Just pretty. Just walking and go like this, all the guys go, <gasps> and I was always walking behind her. And she's like this. Never did their homework. Just always passed everything, because they were good looking. You ever see those girls now? They look mash up. <laughs> and you can't help but to walk up to them and say, God, so. <laughs> what happened to you? 
but like our life just time down, man, you know? And like, oh, you should have done your homework. <laughs> That's unfair though, isn't it?